Hello, my lovelies. It is Krista here with Litter to Glitter. I uh, usually join you guys out of my studio in Garland, Texas, but tonight, very, very special. As many of you know that have been following me on my Litter to Glitter page, I have been on a magical mystery tour, and I have popped up in, well, Atlanta. I've been to Denver, Colorado, now to Atlanta, Georgia, and now I am in Albany, Georgia, with my girl, Jill. Jill's got to lean in. She's kicked Hi. back. Hi. <laughs> so, Jill is the owner and artist at uh, uh, Not, too, Not shabby. too Shabby out of Livy and Company in Leesburg, Georgia. So, let me get my comments up. Uh, what's going on with my comments? So, what we're doing tonight is that we are doing a... Uh, in, we're doing this piece here in... Sawmill Gravy. It's a dresser that we actually picked up on Monday from a customer. And we are uh, painting it in Sawmill Gravy. And then we are going to be showing you guys tips and tricks. I'm painting. Jill's going to wet distress it for, to give it that shabby, chic look. So I do have my comments up so I can see you guys. So when you pop on, tell me where you're from. Um where you're joining us from. Like I said, I'm usually in Garland, Texas, but I'm with my girl, Jill. So this dresser actually started off, you can see the bottom drawer down here, started off as this very dark brown color. Now on the sides and the top, I've already done one coat of sawmill gravy. And so, or I've done two coats of sawmill gravy on the top and sides. I've got one coat on these drawers, and then I'm gonna put one coat on this, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put a second coat on these drawers here. And then hopefully that should be pretty much dry and I can put a second coat on those. And then Jill is gonna come back behind me and will wet distress. So, I have had an absolutely amazing time with Jill here in Leesburg, Georgia in her shop. She had a huge custom job this week that I've been her prep crew on. <laughs> She's been doing a good job too, y'all. That's the first compliment you give me all week. <laughs> no, it's not. She says I've been working her like a dog. Oh, man. Well, there's a big time difference between Texas. Well, it's not a big, t it's a time difference. So it's an hour. And I'm used to going to my shop and opening my shop at like 10 in the morning. Jill, however. You want me to do that while you're painting? Yeah. For some reason, comments aren't coming up on that. You might have to back out and go back in. Um, and then I am used to go into my shop at like, my shop is open at 10, which is 11, Jill's time. Christina's on. Hey, Christina. Hey, girl. Hey, Christina. And um, Jill is up and out the house by 8.30, which is 7.30 my time. That's a big difference. <laughs> So, I'm still, you know, shuffling around and um, wiping the, the stuff out of my eyes. And she's like, let's go. So, but no, Christina Thrasher's on. And she is from Repurposeful out in Marietta, Georgia. She actually drove down and we got to spend some time with her on Thursday, correct? Guess who else is on? Who always joins us? Is it Christy or is it Ann from it's Indiana? Ann from Indiana. Anna. Anna. Hey, Ann from Ann. Indiana. And Wendy Mann from Colorado. Hey, Wendy. And so, yeah. So, Christina drove all the way from Atlanta. What is it? Three hours? Yeah. It's three hours from where she is. Yeah, it's like three hours from where she is. So, she drove down and I, we got to spend some time together, which was really, really awesome. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start at the bottom. I like to really do like to do my drawers bottom to top. That way I can hit the tops, hit the bottoms, and keep pulling them out. So when I hit my tops, I'm not doing this number. So I'm just going to give them a second coat. And then Jill's going to jump in and show you guys some tips and tricks on wet distressing. So since this has a really a darker, it had a darker brown coat of paint on it when we picked it up and we're using the sawmill gravy. She's going to the shabby chic look with it. 
So I'm not real, I want a, a good coverage, but I'm not really worried about having that silky smooth, perfect glass finish because she's just gonna come back behind me and sandpaper it. So, so we just had a bunch of people join us. Let's see, let me, I don't wanna miss anybody. So we have Stacy Davis. Hey, Stacy. And Joyce Schoon from Illinois. Hey, Hi, Joyce. Joyce. And we have Judy. Is this Wari? If, that, if that's not right, I'm sorry. But she's from Australia. Oh, man. So, hi. She definitely um, gets the award for Furthest Away. Yeah. Okay, Marie Cardenas. And she's a, she's a first timer. Whoa. Welcome. Welcome, Marie. And Wendy Mann is about to do her first piece of furniture and what, would love some advice. Okay, Wendy, what kind of advice would you, what are you looking for? What kind of advice do you need? Do you need advice on, I'm going to need a little bit more information right. on your project. Um, do you need advice on cleaning, about products, colors, um, uh, techniques? Um, definitely, I, I would say make sure you clean your piece really well. Make sure that you rinse off your white lightning. I would give my piece a good scuff sand. Um, definitely a good brush. Um, those are basics that I could just throw out until I knew more about your piece. If you want to, up in the comments is my link to my Litter to Glitter page and also to Jill's Not Too Shabby page. You're very much welcome to reach out, send us each a message and we will individually send you our tips and tricks hers might be a little different than mine but we're definitely willing to help out yeah and that goes for any of you guys out there that might have questions you're definitely welcome always to reach out to us okay so now we have let's see we've got eva evans from woodstock georgia hey she's eva. in our neck of the woods kind of yep and tammy martin hey tammy so um, would you say Eva was from Woodstock? Eva's from Woodstock. So she may know Christina. She may know Christina, but mm -hmm. also, see here, 20 years ago, I used to live in Woodstock, Georgia, and out in Town Lake Hills, and I live in Texas now. So let's see who else we have. Linda McMillan from Ohio. Hi, Linda. Judy Huck says, hi, my friend. Hey, Judy. Ronnie Russo says hi. Hey, Ronnie. We have Irene from Delaware. Hi, Irene. And Mary Jo Dugan from Pennsylvania. I, Dallas, Texas, Judy. That's your neck of the woods, Krista. Yep. I am in uh, my shop, is, and I also live in Garland, Texas, which is just northwest. It's a suburb of Dallas, but we're just a little bit northwest of the city proper. So... For all my people that are watching out, honey, I'm going to hit you. Oh, sorry. I'm, like, <laughs> like a little bit of paint on your jeans is really going to mess know, them up, right? right? Right. I've been working all day, y'all. Oh, so. my God. Guys, she sprayed this beautiful tall boy um, with silk and black sands. So pretty. It's gorgeous. And then she painted the hardware in like a jet black. Oh, my God. It, it is, is. It's gorgeous. I never thought that that when, because that was the other piece that we picked up when we picked up this piece, and I did not think that that piece was going to turn out near as, near good. as good as it did. It is it, so pretty. It's really classy looking. Oh yeah, it, it's definitely one that can go into a man's, and also the color of the black sands is like a very deep gray. Yeah, it's very dark, true gray. Yeah, and so it's something that I could see a woman having, but also I could also see a man, a man yeah. having that in his as well. So it was very, very beautiful. Okay, so let me see who else we have here. So we've got Linda from Missouri. Let's see, Lisa Snyder, BH, but in Newport, Ritchie, Florida, taking care of parents right now. What's BH? You know what that? I, I can't read. I can't see. Let's see. Right there. BH, but in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. I'm not sure what BH means. I don't know. I don't know. Lisa, you got to let us know what BH is. So, <laughs> um, we have Peggy from Michigan. We have somebody else from Dallas. Kathy, is that Reiner? Reinerson? Hey, lady. 
So to all my peeps that are out there in Dallas and, well, all over Texas, um, I hope you guys are safe and have been through the storm and we're coming out the other side. I know I checked temperatures and next week is supposed to be back up in the 60s, so hopefully we'll be back to our old beautiful Texas self again and unthawed. Yes. Thank goodness. Yes. Now you can just take some of this rain back with you. Uh-uh. It has rained uh -uh. here every day. Today's the first day it hasn't rained in like a month. I'm not putting that <laughs> in my suitcase and taking it home. It's staying in Georgia. I am not bringing it home. They won't let me in the airport if you tell them that I'm bringing rain back with me. There will be a, True. a whole lynch mob out there going, uh-uh. <laughs> so we have Cecilia Brown, Stacy Coyne. Hey, Stacy. Stacy says, hey there, Jill and Krista. Didn't realize Krista was available to come over and prep pieces for us. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Jill, man. the pieces in your booth are amazing. Thank you, Stacy. I'm assuming Krista showed you my booth. <laughs> but thank you. That's very sweet. Stacy is a customer of mine in my shop in Garland. And Stacy, I am available, but I'm really She's expensive. not cheap. <laughs> okay, so we have Catherine Mouse from Australia. Hey, so, Catherine. Catherine, we are painting with um, um, Samuel, Samuel Gravy. Gravy tonight. And so, for those of you, because I know we've got a bunch of people that have jumped on. Yes, we've got a bunch of people. What we're doing is we picked up this little dresser, and um, because of the condition it was in, it was painted before, and it wasn't expertly painted. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I was very diplomatic about that. <laughs> it was horrible, y'all. Horrible, I'm telling you. <laughs> I thought I was very diplomatic about that. It was not expertly painted. Um, it wasn't even preschool painted. Um, yeah. And so because it's got a lot of existing streaks, the only other option is to sand it completely down through, I think I saw maybe four layers of yeah, paint. Yeah, there's at least four layers in here. And so it's either to sand it completely down or paint over it and go with it. So with this, the way it is, with the existing brush strokes and everything else, um, we decided to use sawmill gravy. And Jill is going to be giving some tips here in just a minute about how to wet distress and turn this little piece into a shabby chic beauty. So I'm on my last drawer. You, you Are gotta, you ready? Well, I'm on my last drawer as soon as I'm done. Well, you got to do that one. Well, the second coat on that one. <laughs> I could go ahead and start. I, I told you she's been cracking the whip on me all week, but you ain't got that one done yet. Well, I'll just be patient. So we have a few more people that have joined us too. We have Kathleen Huntley from Willoughby, Ohio, and Diane Reeve from Cato, New York. Where is that? I've never heard of that I've one. never heard of Cato, New York. <laughs> Shorty says, hey, baby, come home. <laughs> Shorty, you get her back in a few days. I'm going to work her another day, and then I'm going to bring her home. Originally, she says, oh, Sunday we can take off, and then... We get up to the shop. Jill has been rolling today, y'all. She has painted like four pieces and has them in her booth here. Um, that she, you know, as of today, were just pieces. Well, it was empty before today. So yeah. So I had to bust it to get some stuff in there. <laughs> and so then later today, or yeah, later in the day, she looks at me. She goes, yeah, I think we'll come to the shop for a little bit tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting tomorrow off. Well, you don't have to do anything. I didn't do much of anything today. Don't you dare agree with me. I didn't say anything. Yeah, I, every time I've cracked a joke, you've been like, yeah, you just agree too quickly <laughs> to stuff. So, Bridget's on. Bridget Smith from Baltimore. Hey, Bridget. Hey, we got somebody from cold Canada. Ooh. Jody Doyle. Jody, I bet it is cold in Canada. I'm glad. I am so glad I don't live in the cold. I could not deal with it. I know, you just live in a floodplain, man. I know, right? Well, okay, I'm going to tell tales out of school. I said I wasn't going to say anything until I got back to Texas, but uh -oh. the second night that I was here, no, the first night I was here, no, I flew in Sunday, Monday, Jill and I are out running errands <laughs> and getting stuff, and we start hearing, and it's raining, and it's been raining, Jill says, for like three weeks in Georgia. And she tells me, I, we hear these sirens, and I'm like, 
okay? <laughs> so we had to run home because we were actually, actually under a tornado watch, and there was, like, it rotation, and we were watching yeah, the news. one hit right down the road from us. And right. it, the funnel, it was right down the road, and we are watching it, and the funnel was, like, right over her neighborhood, so. Oh. Weather. Yes, weather, weather. So, um, let's see. Lisa Platt says hello from Albuquerque. Hey, Lisa. And Elizabeth Oliviera says hi. I love that. It's a beautiful last name. Yes, it is. So, Judy said this awful, I've kept me coming from over to see you. Judy, she hasn't been there. <laughs> so, you didn't miss anything? Yeah, Judy. <laughs> I will actually, my husband and my son, um, because of the weather, you know, we were completely shut down. And um, because of the weather... I actually flew out Sunday, and we did like five miles an hour to the airport. I was more worried about flying out of Dallas mm -hmm. than flying into Denver, because uh, Denver's built for that. They're used to snow. I was more worried about getting off the ground in Dallas, and um, but they opened up the shop today. They'll be open tomorrow and Monday, so definitely, um, and I will be back in the shop, in, in my shop on Thursday. I think that's good. Is that good, boss? I think so. Did I do good? I did good. Okay, do I get a cookie or something? I'm, I don't know. Maybe. Will, will you feed Maybe me? later. Will you feed me on the way home? <laughs> We're not going home. <laughs> not yet. we got to work some more. <laughs> I'm kidding. We've been here. We've been here since 10, so... She's, she's put in a good day, so this is, you can see where I'm at. I'm okay, so I'm going to take over comments, Quit and Jill time. is going to get to teaching you. I can always move the camera up so they can see. Are you going to work from the top down, or where are you going to work from, hon? Well, uh, where's my, do you know where the spray bottle went? This one's empty. We just had it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, you say there it is like that is the direction. <laughs> You, you say, there it is. That tells me nothing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray this, spray some water on it and just rub it with a rag and see if I can get... I'm going to move this up so they can really see the technique. Okay. I really want this really kind of heavy distress because of the... So we're just going to see if this will work. And if this doesn't do what I want, I think it's going to work. Though. But you can do this. Sometimes I do this with an old sanding pad. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. Yeah. Y'all see all my hard, hard work going, right? So, uh, a question to you, Jill. Uh -huh. um, Stacy Davis wants to know what kind of sprayer do you use? I have different ones. My, I'll be honest with you. My favorite one, because it's just so, it's so easy to clean up. It's like the little Wagner home decor sprayer. It's just a pretty cheap little sprayer. So, Wendy Mann says, I want to change the color of my primitive black style Tiffany cabinet to a white farmhouse style. Do I need to prime? Okay, Wendy, the best thing that I could tell you to do is that if it were mine, if it were in my shop, I would use white boss to prime it with because... What that's going to do is make sure that when you put the white over the black, that you won't have to use as many coats and get bleed through. But, yeah. So, we got... Okay, now I want to say something. <laughs> Christina, do you give her your advice. If okay, you so, like, it just depends. To me, I think it kind of depends on if you want to go distressed farmhouse. Right, if I you're going to distress. distress, just paint it. Pretty much. I mean, clean it and paint it. Mm -hmm. Um. If you're going to do a heavy distressing. Right. So, Christy's on. Guess what she said? Hey. Hey. Hi, Christy. Yes, Christina, she got the rest of the resin poured. Oh, you want to show my resin? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, she did a beautiful glitter top resin pour. It was beautiful. Furniture Just just said she visited Christina's booth this afternoon in Marietta and picked up some goodies. 
Don't you just love her? She's so cute. Yes, she is. She's adorable. <laughs> we had so much fun with her. She came up uh, Thursday night, and she did another live with us on Thursday night, and she we just have the best have the best fun with her. This is feeling so good. It's just wiping right off. So Sarah Joy just got on. She's so uh, what's she putting on there? Actually, she's not putting on anything. What we did was that um, I just finished up prepping for her. And I was doing it in sawmill gravy, and she is actually showing how to wet distress. So, and doing this, you want to, you don't want the paint to sit for like a week and then try to wet distress. Right. Both coats of this have been done within the last two hours. Y'all saw the last coat was just done live at the beginning of the video. So you want to make sure that your paint is still wet, pliable, easy to work with, that kind of thing. See, I'm loving this. Just, just the way that's just coming off. Oh, Christina, you actually got to talk to Furniture Duchess. They actually got to meet okay. and talk. That's great. Shorty asked, "Is there any color that brings my wife home early?" No, baby. Tank <laughs> Sorry, Shorty. So Chris, it's only another day. Yeah. Uh, Christy Clemens wants to know, what color did you end up painting the legs? The legs. I'm not sure about the legs on what, Christy? On oh, I bet she's talking about that vanity. I mean, that desk. The desk. I haven't yet. Yeah, she, she's going to paint that Tuesday night on Painting with Whiskey and Women, so stay tuned. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe um, drop cloth. Because there's so many colors in her room already, we don't want to go too crazy, crazy. Yeah, she said the resin table. Yeah. So, that's really looking cute. And it's just so easy. And it's so much better than sandpaper. <laughs> don't, I always sand my um, fingernail polish fingers off. Rock. No, I get the dip so my nail polish doesn't come off. <laughs> but um, my fingers just get raw from sanding. And this is just a, so much easier. Yes, Sue, this is wet distressing. And so we just applied the two coats of the sawmill gravy today. And she's just using her mister bottle and a rag to just wipe down the paint in these areas to give this a shabby chic look. Christy says she'll try to catch that episode of Painting with Whiskey and Women. <laughs> you think? I hope so, Christy. Oh, uh, yeah, I hope so, too. I really do hope you catch that episode. So what we're going to be doing is, um, have you decided what we're going to do on the hardware? Um, I'm probably, it's just taking the hardware now. Yep, there's some yep. of the hardware. It's just these little things. So, I'm going to do something. This is the <laughs> original hardware on it. Well, that's, I don't think that's original. Well, that's what the, what it yeah, came with when it came in her shop. It. I don't think this originally <laughs> came on it. But this is, and so, let us know. Let's Hey, let's figure this out. So, you guys out there. Yes, give me suggestions. What would y'all do with a sawmill gravy with wet distressing? And she's going to wet distress top and sides and, you know. Um, so, what would y'all do with this hardware to make it all come in. Sue says, wow, I'm gonna try it next project. It's, it's so easy to do yeah. and it gives you yeah. such a shabby chic, a great look. It's a, for me, it's easier than sand using sandpaper um, because for me, sandpaper sometimes will still gouge in. Um, and so if you wet distress instead of using sandpaper, then to me, it also gives you a much smoother edge to where the paint is left on. And you need to wipe your doors after you spray them too. <laughs> so Ronnie Russo said black, Sue said make it pop. Okay, Sue, you can't just say that and run. I need colors. Like, should we use a wax? Should we use a gemstone Maybe mousse? the zinc, you know, I love the zinc. Oh, I love the zinc. The zinc gilding wax? Yes. Lee said black hardware. Debbie said soft gray. 
Hmm. Soft guy might be pretty good. Brigid Smith says black with silver and gold highlights. That is so her. <laughs> Um, That's me too. I love the black and silver together. Yes, Christina, the Dixie Belle sanding pads work fabulously yes. with West Sanding as well. Yes. So the Dixie Belle. Where are they? I'm going to grab one. I know where they are. I can be back in a minute. Yeah. Because I'm, we'll I'm in her studio. So I'm like, she's like, hey, can you grab me that? I'm like, if I knew where it was. But we've got black. Sue says she can't wait to, to try it. Stacy says gilding wax. Sue says black. Judy says brawn. Brigid says garnet mousse. Okay, this is going in my booth to sell. I don't know if I want to do the garnet mousse on this. Yeah. The shabby sheet. See how? Gilding wax and black. Christina says I'm still using the zinc gilding wax right now from on my chalk paint 101 mirror. And from Indiana says zinc. Jerry Lynn says gold. This just doesn't give this quite the same look. Yeah. But it's still kind of, it's still a good look. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, Sue said I usually do white and black. Peggy says I would paint them since I, it doesn't go with that look the way they are. Maybe black and distressed. Yeah. Sandra Brenner says turquoise and then dark brown over top of it. Oh, that would give it a little pop, but not too much. That would definitely yeah. give it a... I like that idea. I do. That might be a winner, winner, chicken dinner yeah. right there. Yes, Christine, it's definitely a different look. It's great for fine line distressing. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie said bless you. <laughs> um, furniture Dutch says maybe use patina. On the hardware. Oh, you know, I love some patina. Oh, you, you do love patina. Heather A. Bunker just says hello. She's just jumping on. So, Hi, for, Heather. for those of you that are just jumping on, I am Krista with Litter to Glitter out of Garland, Texas. But tonight, I am in Leesburg, Georgia with Jill from Not Too Shabby out of Livy and Company in Leesburg, Georgia. I flew out here to spend some time with my girl and had a scheduled live. So she's here and I'm in her shop. And so we painted this in sawmill gravy and then Jill is showing how to wet distress. Um, do you seal after the distress effect? You can if you want. You don't have to. Just like if you, if you like the chalk feel you don't have to seal i for sale usually do seal. i will be sealing this and piece. she said that she'll be sealing this piece because it is for sale in my shop so i will definitely be sealing it diane asked the patina in rust yes i love 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 the rust patina Stacy said, could you use transfer leftover bits and seal it on the knobs? Yes, you can. What you can do if you want to do that, the best way to do that is to use slick stick because these are metal. Is to slick stick them and then paint them in a, a chalk paint color that you want for underneath the transfer. You could always put your transfer bits on that and then seal it. So yes, that is an option as well. It's a lot of good ideas. Yeah. If you notice, everyone's got a different idea. And they're, they're all good. They're all great. I mean, they're all great. You, there's never a bad idea. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not We've true. talked about exes. <laughs> there are bad ideas. So, yeah, there are. But none of them have been in here tonight. These are great, yes, great are. ideas. Well, the good thing about paint, if it is a good idea, a bad idea, you can. It's just paint. paint over it. It's just paint. It's just you paint. can always paint over it. Oh, I got a little much on that one. It'll be all right. Well, good thing you didn't send <laughs> your um, prep crew home. They can always touch it up for you. It'll be all right. See that she left me off the hook there. She's like, oh, it'll be all right. <laughs> it'll be all right. So, Christina said, Dixie Bell is so versatile with their products. So many options and looks to create. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. I have got my sponge full. Is your sponge my full? My sponge is full. 
I think that that is so cute. That really is so cute. So with the high boy that she uh, sprayed today with using the silk in the black sands, the to have this one in there, because that one is very, I'm going to say posh and regal looking. It's very, um, I, I mean, I don't know how you would describe that one, but it's, it's very, it's beautiful. Yes. And and very clean and very and then to have this in there as well. So it's a little bit of something for everyone. There we go. We got a dirty at the bottom of it. Judy, so. I absolutely understand. Judy Huck says I have to leave y'all grad kids coming. Great tutorial. Oh, enjoy the grandkids. Enjoy them babies. Yeah. Yeah. Is yet this bottom something? If I don't know if they can see you on the bottom, but I... Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. Let me get the ring light and get that... Oop. Now. Get that down there so they can see you working at the bottom. Will you distress the edges of the decorative board at the top? I think that would bring yes, it out. I yes, I definitely am. That's my next step. Now, this hardware you pulled out of this drawer, correct? I pulled it out of, I think, probably the bottom one, but it'll go in there. It'll be fine. I'll figure out where it is. Well, we figure if there's three in one, then right. the next one won't. Yeah, got it. Right. So, yeah, she's yeah, going to just dress through here. Let me get them back up, because now you moved up to the top, girl. you just all over the place. See, this is a little harder to do. It's been drying a little longer. Yeah, that has here. been dried longer, okay. so that's going to be a little bit more difficult. You might need to hit that with the sanding sponge instead of the rag. Whoops. Uh -oh. And boom. I get it for you, boss. I get it. <laughs> there you go, boss. I'm such a slave driver. No, we've had a lot of fun working yeah. together this week. So, you hit that, yeah, see with the sanding sponge, it went a little bit longer and dried. So, to wet distress it was a little bit harder to do. Hit it with the sanding sponge. So, so Furniture Dutch has asked, starting on some basic kitchen cabinets in black sands looking good so far. Um, we have not, I have not in my shop used the black sands, but let me tell you something. That's what I, I will just, be. That's what I just used today. Yeah. That's what she used on that piece, that high boy I was telling you about. And oh, it's gorgeous. Will you be putting pictures up on the high boy on your not too shabby? I will be. Okay. Well, it's too dark in there to put them up and take them all again. Yeah. So... She'll put those up, go to the information, go over and like her page, make sure that you hit your notifications to get them, and when she posts, you can see the pictures of her works. Really beautiful stuff. Thank you. And especially if you want to learn about resin. <laughs> so, so, believe it or not, guys, we haven't been on that long. We're done. 30 four minutes. So in 34 minutes with us running our mouths, we have put a second coat on and wet distressed this baby. So before I sign off for the night, I would like to know if anyone has any questions about any products or anything that you guys uh, would like to know about before we get off of here for the night because you've got two of us. That's right. Two, so, two is better than one. Christina <laughs> said, I will be pouring resin soon. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Christina. I think I need to actually do a third coat on this one, so. Yeah. So, what is your page name? My page name is Litter, and then the number two, Glitter. And hers is Not Too Shabby. If you go back after this video is over and you're scrolling through the Dixie Bell page, I do have both of our businesses tagged in the description. So you can just hit those and go directly because there's a lot of not too shabbies out there. She's the best. So, <laughs> so, okay, I don't see people asking comments. 
Jill, do you show videos on resin? She did one live yesterday. I did one yesterday. So you can go over to her page and see that. Howdy, first time here. I just used resin for the first time and love it. I'm going to tell you, after this trip to Georgia and getting some pro tips, resin is now in my <laughs> wheelhouse. I will be doing resin. So well, I do a lot of the um, resin pours with the, I do a lot of that resin art and I pour trays and coasters, but these are on glitter top vanities and desks. And they're, they're really beautiful. Cool. What she does is she does glitter on top and then she uses the chalk mineral paint or silk on the sides. Yeah. And the combination of the two is just absolutely outstanding. She says, I love the look of that. Thanks for showing how to do it. I missed the resin pour. No, the resin pour was not on this video. We're talking about a video she did yesterday. Somebody asked if she was doing videos showing that. And she does, but it was yesterday on her business page. So, all right, my loves. Well, it's time for me to wrap up. And the next time you see me, I will be back in Texas. And I'm actually flying out Monday yes. evening. And so the next time y'all see me will be Tuesday night on Painting with Whiskey and Women on my business page. And, and me too. And Jill. Jill's on Painting <laughs> with Whiskey and Women with me as well. And Christy. So I will, when we get off here, somebody asked if you could put the link to your business on here. Yes, I will. And I will put my, I don't know if they're talking to me or you, but I'm assuming you. Okay. <laughs> And I will put mine as well. And so I will see you guys in three weeks back on the main page. And I will be back with something really special. I got something special that I take going to take me a little bit to put together. So I will be doing, I think that's going to be on my next live Ooh, in three know. weeks. Huh? I want to know. I ain't telling you. <laughs> all right, my loves. I will see y'all all in three weeks. Bye, guys. Bye.